What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have this 2010 Audi A4 and we're going to clone the TCU computer because we changed the computer, I mean the transmission on that car and well it came from another car and it's, it has a different number, B number program inside so we need to change that. And we're going to be using the Maxi, CIS, the Maxi IM608 and for this we need to select the Audi and we're gonna select the expert selection and we're gonna scroll down until we see immobilizer, immobilizer adaptation we're gonna hit next and we're gonna select the immobilizer fifth generation and here you can select three things ECM, electronic uh, lock switch or the TCU so we're gonna select that we have Audi A4, A5, Q5 and so on so we're gonna select that one we need to have the programmer connected and this thing too using the two USB cables and here I have a setup right here so I have the original connector that came with the uh, transmission so I did a hardness for it and here you need to put a resistor for the CAN lines low and high this is a 0.900 kilo, kilo ohms um, resistor so here we have the two sets that we need to read so the first one is gonna read this computer so we need to get the emulation data from the non-original TCU which is this one this is the computer from the donor transmission and the next one we need to get the mobilizer data from the original vehicle which is the target vehicle that we want to program so also you have a note here before pressing enter uh, make sure that the non-original TCU has been installed on the vehicle but it's not in there so the diagnostic tool has been connected to the target vehicle through the diagnostic socket alright so but before doing that I'm just gonna get the information just to show you that this uh, procedure works and for that we need to connect our power adapter which is 12 volts and I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't connect it so it will fail we're gonna do a direct mode here you have the diagram to connect that and here you have the table for the terminals so on the terminal 9 which is the socket here you have let me just the 9 and 7 are gonna be powers all the time 5 and 2 uh, the the high and low can uh, lines and the 13 is gonna be the the ground so using this table this is the wiring you're gonna use from the OVDT OVD2 so as you can see 12 volt 12 volt takes the six pin from OVD and the ground and as you can see here this is the OVD the adapter and just five lines so we're gonna hit Okay, I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't connect the power. So it's just gonna say communication fail. So if you connect it like that, and then we start over, you will see that it's gonna start communicating. And it's gonna start reading the data. So as you can see, it's reading the modulation data successfully and honestly I haven't seen anyone doing this with the Altel just other scanners and it says that the reading was successful if you want to save the data yes because I already saved it and it's right here this is the original data from that module which is the donor so I'm gonna just overwrite it and it's, re it's saved successfully so the next step is we're gonna take the scanner and then we're gonna connect, disconnect this one and connect the whole setup to the car and extract the data. All right, let's go. So I would advise you to put a tag on this, uh, the computer just to make sure you don't mix them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the vehicle. Let me just show you really quick. Let's go to the vehicle and let me show you what I'm gonna do. So here we have the transmission. So this transmission right now, it's 
from the donor vehicle what I did I swapped the ECU but it didn't work um, the original so um, the TCU it's still the original from the other transmission so this transmission is the one that is working now that I already installed but I swapped the computer from the other one and well the problem is actually the computer and also the transmission well um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this one which is basically the original TCU from the car I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna extract the information from all, all of it that way once it's extracted I'm gonna unplug it again and connect the donor TCU outside right here so you can see that it will work all right so let me go to the vehicle and let's start doing this this job all right guys so as you can see here I'm already in the car so I'm gonna open the switch switch is open the tool is connected through the OBD port and for some reason we need to leave this connected otherwise it's not gonna work and I have my power supply just in case the battery dies or anything I gotta have a stable voltage so we're gonna press F2 and it's gonna read the whole vehicle and extract the data from the, from the immobilizer and the TCU remember the TCU that I have connected in the car right now it's the original TCU that the car came with and as you can see it's reading the data it goes pretty quick Okay, connecting to a programmer for some reason it does that so we successfully read the information and now let me just close the switch because that peeping is annoying so here once we already read the information from the non-original TCU and also I already read the information from this vehicle uh, the next step we're gonna enter replacement and also before even starting we need to put the uh, computer from the donor car uh, outside of the um, of the connection because what it's gonna do is gonna transfer that information and overwrite it over here so as you can see here uh, the numbers are different ACBB8 this computer uh, this information is from the non original computer and this one is the immobili immobilizer data that is already stored in the um, in the body module, which is where it stores all the anti theft data, all that. So this is the B number from the car, the original car. And well, I think that's it. Let me just get the other module and uh, start doing this. Also, I'm gonna put the uh, the code that I was getting here, so you can see. Uh, the code that you get when you install that module and uh, it won't even make the car go into drive or anything like that because it's these modules are protected so um, yeah let me just get the module and let's start doing this this work actually what I'm gonna do is just open the switch there's no need to actually put the module right now because it's gonna do let me just what it's gonna do is it's gonna overwrite this but for some reason I already have this saved make sure you make a copy of this otherwise is in case it fails you just restore it back but I would recommend make a backup file of this so um, we press F2 this is where you can modify the data but I always take a picture of this let me just do a screenshot just just to be secure save all this data because you don't want to mess anything up this is your original data in case anything happens so let's just go back press ok and also once it's done you're gonna press ok and we're gonna start replacement so we're gonna start hit before the replacement make sure the non-original transmission has been installed in the vehicle. Okay, so we're gonna install that uh, computer into the car and we're gonna hit next, all right? So let, I'll be back. All right, so as you can see here, I connected the non-original transmission. I put a tag, remember? 
that way I don't mix it. So this computer is from the Donner vehicle and the one inside the transmission is the original one. Okay, so let's go back to the vehicle and start rewriting this. Make sure we're not gonna get the same code again, the lock code for transmission because it was the only code I was getting. All right, so let me go back into the vehicle and start the rewriting procedure. All right, so we're back into the vehicle and now let's open the switch. Switch is open, power supply is connected. So we already have this connected. I mean, uh, we already have the module connected outside the computer. So we're gonna press next, connecting to programmer and it's gonna synchronize the data now with the vehicle. So it says replacement success succeed. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read this again, make sure I have the, uh, the same number that I had here. So let me just go back. I'm gonna press F2, press OK, and I'm gonna check if we have an, any change in the data for this car. If we do, then we successfully uh, clone the computer and it will work with this transmission now. All right, so let's see. Connecting programmer, calculating. So we press OK, went to replacement. And well, looks like it was successful. Let's just, let me go back. And I'm gonna go to diagnostics. Auto check. Make sure I don't have the lock code anymore. Because that was the problem with the module, the lock code. So we're gonna read, okay. Let me just turn off the, the door. I mean, that beeping. There we go. That was annoying. Sorry about that. We're gonna press yes. And we're gonna do diagnostics and we're going to transmission module. Make sure we don't have, probably I'm gonna have some codes about uh, some cell notes open or something like that because it's, it's outside, but the main code that I don't want, hopefully it's right here. This code is the code that I don't want, P1701. So let me erase the codes, make sure I don't have that code anymore. And I still have it, so yeah. All right people, so after you install the module and everything was successful, what you need to do now is we need to adapt the transmission module so the car can recognize it. Because if you, you're, uh, you already did the pin change and all that um, like I show you on, on the beginning of the video so everything is done but after you install it you will still have the code and what you have to do to erase that code is we need to use like equipment from Audi or you can use the same tool that I'm using and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna hit hot functions let me just start from the beginning let me just start over okay so here we have the car, as you can see here, I don't have the code anymore. The Let me show you the code that I was getting before, that was so annoying and it wouldn't go off. This is the code, transmission control unit locked. And after we did the whole um, reading and all that, changing the B number in the, in the module, we need to hit health functions, we're gonna do we're gonna scroll down all the way until we see transmission adaptation. We're gonna hit that one. We're gonna wait, it takes a couple of minutes. And we're gonna select this one, which is the Gearbox Electronics IOAW. We're gonna hit OK, OK again. And here we need, we have to hit this option, replace control unit. So once you hit that option, it's gonna adapt the transmission so the car and all the computers can recognize that the module it's it's already online. So we're gonna hit next and next, and then it's gonna ask you to turn off the ignition. We press OK, and here is gonna do all this: replace the automatic control unit after installing a new unit, which has already uh, changed the V number to it. 
you must run this program and we're gonna hit OK you can either open the switch or do it like this and as you can see here I already did it it says not executed but I actually I already did it so we're gonna hit next next and it will do its thing so he, oh we need to open the switch like I said I was wrong so we're gonna press continue turn off the radio and then we need we hit next actually I'm gonna cancel everything and it already did the execution so it's adaptation already and then it's gonna code the computer so we're gonna hit next it's gonna do everything again just to show you that it will do it alrighty okay so everything's done we're gonna make sure everything was executed well actually the other one was executed so you just hit on this one execute and you will do it and now we're gonna check the codes so this code wasn't going away even if I erased it so many times it would just keep popping popping and now I'm, se I'm selecting the module the transmission module make sure I don't have any codes anymore And there we go, no more codes. Uh, I have these codes because, like I said, the module is outside of the car, making sure I don't have any, that code. But once I put this one in the transmission again, uh, well, we will have uh, a new module again, I mean, working one. So you can also do the adaptation here once everything's installed properly and the fluid filled, you can do the adaptation, reset the clutch and all that. Alright guys, so this will be pretty much the end of the video. Uh, this was a very long video and this is a kind of difficult job to do. Um, like I said, I haven't seen anyone do this job with the Autel. So I hope this is the first video over there. But yeah, I've seen other people doing it but with different scanners. And yeah, well, I hope you liked the information on this video. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel and comment down below. And I'll see you on the next episode. You fix out. Bye.